students and welcome back to the mesostudy.com and in this session we are again discussing or come with the neat biology sessions in this session we are focused on the last chapter from the 11th session that is chemical coordination and integration we all know that our body is coordinated inside that is through the chemical patterns in this chapter we are discussing the important aspect from the given chapter in the form of questions one by one so let's start the session and discuss the important aspect from the chapter the first question from the chemical coordination and integration was which of the following group do not include endocrine glands option a pituitary pineal and thyroid option b mention adrenal parathyroid thymus option c pancreas testes and ovary option d liver kidney heart and gastrointestinal tracts to find out the solution of the given question we know that pituitary pituitary pineal thyroid adrenal pancreas parathyroid parathyroid thymus and gonads and gonads in gonads we generally consider the testes in males and ovary in females ovary in the female these all are organized these all are organized and mention as a endocrine bodies mention as a endocrine bodies of a cell in addition to these bodies in addition to these bodies some other organs some other organs are that mention as a gastrointestinal gastrointestinal tract kidney next is liver next is heart these all are apart for the another endocrine bodies they also produce some hormones they also produce hormones so according to the discussion of the mentioned question we come to conclude that the right answer for the mention option or question is option d that is liver kidney heart and gastrointestinal because we in this there is a question asking which of the group generally are not include endocrine glands we discuss a for brief category that which kind of a organ come under the endocrine glands that generally produce the hormones but apart for the endocrine glands liver kidney heart and gastrointestinal glands they produce hormone and are not considered under the endocrine gland so this is all about the question number 1 from the chemical coordination and the integration let's discuss the next question the next one is in hashimoto disease symptoms developed due to a A hyposecretion of thyroxine option B hyposecretion of thyroxine option C hyposecretion of adrenaline option D none of these to find out the solution of the given question first of all we all know that hashimoto disease 
what is this disease hashimoto disease is actually a auto immune disease auto immune disease in which immune system in which immune system turns against the own body so hashimoto disease is a disease that are generally known as a autoimmune disease in which the immune system of the patient generally turns against the cell of their own body or we can say that the host or the suffering or the patient bodies secretes the antibodies and considering their own cell as a antigen and kill their own cells so in this the patient are suffering for undetection of their own cells so by that killing their own bodies the immune system the immune system attacks the immune system attack thyroid which generally secretes the hypothyroidism hypothyroidism in which thyroid does not make thyroid does not make enough hormone enough hormone for body's need for body's need doesn't able to produce the enough hormones for the body's needs and this is because of the condition as a hypothyroidism so according to the discussion we come to know that the right answer for the question is option a option a that is the hyposecretion of thyroxine hormone is generally caused the hashimoto disease that is a generally auto immune disorder auto means self it means patients are suffering from hashimoto disease will able to kill or non self or take it as a foreign or non self body or cells of their own body or not able to detect their own cell and secretes the antibodies against their own cell so this is all about this question let's discuss the another one from the same section next one is which hormone is not secreted by an endocrine gland we all know that endocrine glands are the ductless glands that are generally able to secrete the hormone so in the given options are option a adh option b pth option 4 c is a t4 and option d anf to find out the solution of the mention option we all know that hormones are secreted by some tissues hormones are also secreted by some tissues which are not endocrine glands we also discussed the same one in the given session that the livers liver heart gastrointestinal tract are not endocrine glands but although they are not considering an endocrine glands still they are secreting some hormones so for considering and discussing the same aspect for example the atrial wall of atrial wall of our heart is very important for the secretion of because apart from the pumping they secretes the peptide hormone and that hormone name as a atrial 
natri uretic factor we abbreviated it as a ANF atrial natriuretic factor that generally help in or decrease the blood pressure decrease the blood pressure so this is all about the given question after the discussion of the given question we come to know that the right answer of the question is option d let mark the right one in the mention option that is option d anf is the atrial natriuretic factor that secreted from the atrial wall of heart is the right one in this case let move on and discuss the next question from the same section is in or if baby's anterior lobe of pituitary is damaged and that damage due to an accident then from which of the following disorder is he mostly likely to suffer first is a cretinism option two seminoid disease next is a acromegaly and d is dwarfism and the mention option are option a one and three Two, that is a cretinism and the seminoid uh, next is a one three and four cretinism seminoid and dwarfism only four that is a dwarfism and option d is one three and four that is a cretinism agromegaly and dwarfism to find out the answer for the given question we all know that baby with damaged anterior lobe anterior lobe of pituitary gland damaged lobe of or anterior lobe of pituitary glands is more likely to suffer from suffer from disorders suffer from disorders and this disorders number one is cretinism what are the features of cretinism that actually caused by caused by the deficiency of thyroid hormone thyroid hormone in infants thyroid hormone in infants so when infants face any kind of uh, accidents the first disorders they are suffer from by damaging the anterior lobe of pituitary is the cretinism the next one is the simons disease what are the various features and the path these are also known as a atrophy also known as a atrophy so the question asked in the exam by simnoid or the atrophy too they are the disorders that are generally caused after the degeneration of anterior degeneration of anterior lobe of pituitary anterior lobe of pituitary the next disorders from the damaging of anterior lobe of pituitary is dwarfism dwarfism is generally occur due to deficiency of growth hormone
due to deficiency of growth hormone and we all know that growth hormones are secreted from the anterior lobe of pituitary as all these are mentioned disorders are released because of the improper secretions of hormone improper secretion of hormone or activation of thyroid stimulating hormone it is another or abbreviated known as a tsh thyroid stimulating hormone are secreted by the anterior low of pituitary gland anterior lobe of pituitary gland so after discussing about the mention or given option we come to know that the right answer for the mention question is option b let mark the right one in the given question that is this it includes first second and fourth that is cretinism simons and dwarfism and we discuss the features of all three diseases that's why there is a cause by the damaging or degeneration of anterior lobe or anterior lobe of pituitary gland in infants because of uh, accidents so let's move on and discuss the last question from the same segment that is which of the following functions are regulated by melatonin and the pineal gland option a defense capability option b pigmentation option c menstrual cycle option d metabolism option e growth and differentiation option f body temperation option g sleep wake cycle and out of the mention option we have to select out which of the following categories are regulated by melatonin and the pineal glands option a includes a d c f and g next is a uh, option b b c d e f and g next is a uh, c a c d and e and option d is a b c d f and g to find out the solution of such a complex question we all know that starting from the function or regulation of the pineal gland we all know that pineal gland secrete the hormone that name as a melatonin that name as a melatonin we all know that melatonin plays a important role in regulation of regulation of 24 hour or we all know that diurnal rhythm 24 hour or diurnal rhythm of our body of our body let take it and consider with the help of example melatonin plays that 24 hour cycle or we can say diurnal rhythm melatonin helps in melatonin helps in first they helps in maintaining the normal rhythm of normal rhythm of sleep wake cycle they maintain the normal rhythm of sleep wake cycle next melatonin help in the body temperature in addition for all these a uh, two function we all know that melatonin also influence 
also influences metabolism apart for all these they role they play a important role in pigmentation too pigmentation too apart for the pigmentation they also play a important role in menstrual cycle and important role in our defense capability so here are the important functions or work done by the melatonin hormone that i secrete from the pineal gland so out of the mention or given discussion we come to know that the right answer for the question is option d let mark the right one in the mention question that is d option d is the right one in this case that includes defense capability pigmentation menstrual cycle metabolism sleep body temperature and sleep wake cycle it means a part of growth and differentiation our melatonin that is secreted by the pineal gland work for all this so this is all about the session and this is all about your 11th section neat biology and this is all about the chemical coordination and integration in the next session we start and continue our 12th section and discuss the important neat biology sessions or important question from the 12th session hope student you like the session for such more sessions stay tuned to the mizustudy.com till then stay safe stay home thank you very much